Yes. And if you're wanting a ticket to see Chef Nina, well, you won the jackpot. Let me tell you, because he's live with us this morning. Good morning. Hey, good to see you. It's good to see you. I love coming to the Fox 10 studio. I feel important. Yeah. I'm not joking. This is an amazing <laughs> thing to see. Well, really, we usually... Special. You come to see us once a month, and we come to see you, um, so we feel very welcomed at Rouse's in Westmobile, too. Oh, you are, definitely. Yeah. What's, what are we making this We're going to do a Caribbean chicken burger. Uh-huh. And can I tell you, I'm uniquely qualified to uh, share with our viewers Caribbean. I go to the Belize often. Mm -hmm. In fact, in five days, I'll be in Belize for a week. I'm going to Cuba next month for a while. So I spent a lot of time out there. Must be nice. See, oh, it is. It's not fair. Hey. But anyway, to make a long story short, uh, dog, I'm 61 years old. It's about time you, I get to live my dang on life. You yeah. do it. You do it. Hey, I just um, this burger isn't perfectly round anymore. It's got a chunk cut out because I just tried it. This is so delicious. A mixture of sweet, fresh, um, and everything you want in a chicken burger. That's right. And we're going to be highlighting the King's Hawaiian. Buns, okay. okay. In fact, I should probably get those out right now. I was warming them up. Here we go. I don't want to burn my buns. Don't burn there the we buns. Go. That would be Don't tragic. you love the King's Hawaiian um, bread? Just give me the bread and, and I'll eat look, it for the rest of my these, life by itself. These pretzel hamburger slider Yeah. Bread. You talk about good. King's Hawaiian started in 1950. Mm -hmm. That's over 70 years of giving special yeah. treats to the world. Yeah. I love these things. So. In the uh, Caribbean burger, uh, you can either mix all your spices, your paprika, your coriander, your uh, clove, etc., or you can get Chef Nino's, make it Caribbean right here. Easy okay? peasy. Yeah. Low sodium, etc., really nice, and no MSG. All right, so let's just dive right in here, okay? okay. Let me get some of this uh, Cuban coffee here. Just sip, mm -hmm. sip. Sometimes I need that's what you energy. Need. There we go. Now, as any burger, I like to start off making it moist. Okay. Let me move these out of the way because I don't want to cross contaminate that with <laughs> some uh, raw. Okay. Cross contamination is very important. All right. Yes. We got our Rouse's French bread. We want to put moisture in there. I can't stand getting a burger and it's dry just like a hockey puck. There's no need for that, okay? <laughs> you know, have you ever been to a cookout and you bite I the have. burger like so could somebody use some imagination here? I still like use it. Your lack of creativity though. is killing me. Yeah. You well, old you're a boring person. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. He's just on his soapbox this morning. Yeah, so hello. You so, so start we, out with bread. Yeah, this is our Rouse's French bread. Okay. Love our Rouse's. We've only got a few more seconds. A few more left. seconds, okay? Um, we're going to go ahead and mix this up really good. In fact, I want to show you. This is very important Okay. when you're making a burger or a meatball or a meatloaf. Or you could just eat it like this, just bread and milk. <laughs> we're not in prison. All right, we're okay. going to be back. <laughs> not yet. Okay, yeah, you better watch out with that one. When we come back, what are we doing next? We're going we're gonna to mix in the spices, the all the herbs, etc., and we're going to start farming the burgers up. Don't mix it. Okay? All right, Rouse's.com for more details. We will have Chef Nino finish the recipe. That is exactly right. And you know what? I just got to try a little bite of this. Absolutely delicious. So well, what are you doing right you. now, Nino? All right, so I'm just zesting my lime in there. This is Caribbean chicken. You can check out the recipe, Rouse's.com, Fox 10 TV. Dot com. Uh, I got my milk and my bread. That's going to be the basic. That's going to put moisture. We don't want to make a hockey puck. We want to mm -hmm. make flavor and moisture. Okay, for any burger, whether it be chicken, beef, uh, or any meatloaf or meatball, this is how you start it. Okay, so instead of mixing the complicated spice blends, I've got Chef Nino's Mega Caribbean uh, blend, and we're going to put a couple tablespoons there. I have two pounds of ground chicken. All right. Now remember, we want to put a little moisture, so we're going to. Put an egg in there. Mm -hmm. Hello. And me. Always got to have the egg. We you do breadcrumbs sometimes if you don't have the fresh bread. Yes, yes, yes. But it's going to taste so much better. It See, is. I lived in Italy a long time. That's how you make a pizza ball. Mm -hmm. It's a spicy pizza ball. <laughs> yeah, with Valpolicello <laughs> for the wine. You know Valpolicello? I don't. Yeah, it's a Valpolicello. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. <laughs> So you got to get out. It gets often. louder to try and get the point across. Yes, hello, that's how to do. <laughs> All right, we have our garlic, we have our uh, brown sugar, we have our onions. Remember, we want more moisture in there and flavor. And don't worry if you're a texture person about onions, they melt away. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. A little bit of parsley, a little bit of uh, cilantro. Now we're going to put in our ground chicken. 
All right, and we're gonna form the burgers. While I'm mixing this, when we plate the burgers, and I don't know if the camera can go uh, to my left, your right, um, we're gonna put a, a more of a Cuban style burger on there, like a Cuban sandwich. We can put the shaved ham, the dill pickles, Ooh. Rouse's dill uh, spears, and uh, mustard. And I'm telling you, you've got like a Cuban sandwich, but a Caribbean burger. It's nice. I was going to say that I would yes, like never have thought of that. But you know what? Also, I noticed something. You had me try this um, just while uh, Chelsea was talking about what's coming up. And I definitely noticed the sweetness mm -hmm. in these burgers, too. Mm -hmm. so, so, and, you know, the sweetness needs to counteract the coriander and the horse necessary Caribbean spices. Kind yeah. of blends it together. It's the golden thread that unites all the fabric together. It's a cohesive flavor. Cohe cohesive. Hey, this is my show. Okay. No, <laughs> I don't I'm know about joking. that, Nino. Oh, oh, I know oh. you have that back there. But oh, no. hello. Yeah. Hello, Nino. Happy Monday. Hey, it's supposed to get hot today. It is. How, how hot? Very Mid-90s. But oh, feeling, wow. feeling over 100 degrees. So you know you can cool wow. down with some of these chicken burgers. And especially. And my, my air conditioning compressor went out yesterday in my truck. Oh, no. It did. And I got to drive three hours back home. <laughs> <laughs> With the windows down. Look, look, look at these burgers, y'all. We're going to go ahead and, and cook them, and that's what they look like when they finish. When y'all come back, we're going to plate one, and I'm going to show you how to make it more Cuban-style, Caribbean. It's a nice show. Excited to check that one out, y'all. These are absolutely delicious. I highly recommend trying them, and we'll be back with Get more Get some Valle Policella while you're waiting. There you go. <laughs> Finishing things up with Chef Nino in the kitchen today from Rouse's. Chef Nino, you've got something in your hand that's pretty unique. Oh, King's Hawaiian pretzel bun sliders. Oh, my goodness. I've never ceased to amaze what King's Hawaiian going to come up with next, okay? <laughs> uh, you can use these. We're making some Caribbean burgers. You can make a little bit smaller and make these sliders. Or I'm just using the regular King's uh, burger buns. Yes, we did. We made a beautiful, beautiful Caribbean chicken burger. And uh, you can watch it on uh, FoxNTV.com. They may be watching it right now, too. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, hey, yeah. man, we're check live. this out. Why you didn't tell me that, camera guy? Hello. All right. So we're going to plate these, okay? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So we, we cook the burgers uh, till temperature mm. 165 or greater because it's chicken. Um, now we're plating them. I'm doing more Cuban style. We got our deli ham. Uh, we got our Rouse's uh, dill spears. Look at that. Rouse has an amazing specialty pickle line. Check it out. Uh, it's in the meat department in the frozen right there by the meat. All right. Then uh, we're going to put some mustard. I told you we're making these kind of Cuban style. Yeah. These are magnificent. I love this flavor, Chef Nino. You may, I don't know if it's this exact recipe or something like this before. So good, y'all. You got to make this for yourself. Yes, indeed. It's something different. No more boring burgers. We're going to top it. And now, would you look at this masterpiece right here? Caribbean wow. chicken Hawaiian. Look at this, huh? Oh, my goodness so the gracious. So jo the joke is always that Nino calls these sliders. Those are monster things as they are. Because, <laughs> brother, 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 go big or go home. Go That's big right. or go home. <laughs> uh, and King's Hawaiian, y'all, when my family makes burgers at home or whatever we do, we always try to get the King's Hawaiian buns because they are so good. We absolutely love them. My kids love them. The whole family loves them. Yeah, you can make your own burger or visit at Rouse's Markets. Go to the Smokehouse. We make burgers there. You can either way get you some Burgers crank up the grill with a grilling headquarters on the Gulf Coast without a doubt. Let, 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 so look at the size comparison here to my head. Hold on, I want to get in the background. Look how, look how huge these are, man. <laughs> that, that's why I'm just eating just the meat off to the side for now. But, I wanted to see you grab one of yeah, them, brother. But okay. I, will, I will tear this up after the show for sure. All right. Thank y'all for watching. Mm. See you at one of the Rouses. Appreciate y'all. So much flavor, Nino. So good. Great Thank job. Thank you.